This is component one, learning aim C. Uh, section two is your help. You will have already in your section one considered the impact of both the internal and external factors, looking at your unemployment and your weather and how the business organises itself. So this is section two. In this section, we're going to be looking for two criteria. There's a merit in which we analyse how the internal and external factors determine the success of one business and a distinction in which we evaluate which we think are the most significant factors. So in the past section, you looked at two businesses. Now we just pick one, pick one you know the most about. It's so much easier. And the way we're going to analyse, we are going to consider the advantages and disadvantages of our different factors by using PEST and SWOT analysis. Don't worry, I'll explain that in a bit. And then after that, we're going to evaluate using relevant examples to draw a conclusion as to which are the most significant factors that influence this business. So two little sections. I'm going to explain the PEST and the SWOT and then how to evaluate. So the first thing we need to do is carry out a PEST analysis. It sounds tricky. It is not. The PEST stand for different factors. So the first letter P means a political. What political factors have influenced our business? It might be Brexit, it might be any new laws, that have anything like that. So you'll look at them and we've got to analyse it. So look at how it could affect it positively and negatively. So that would be a section on politics and you're really summarising the work that you've previously done when you have looked at this. We're now going to look at the economic factor. So E is for economic. What's the economy like at the moment? Consider factors like unemployment and GDP growth and consumer confidence. So on the whole, how is the state of the economy going to affect your business? S is for social. What social trends are affecting your business? So, you know what, if I was a sandwich shop, then the trend of veganism would really be affecting my business. So we're summarising how influential social trends are. And then finally, the T is for technology. How has technology affected the business, like social media and stuff like that? And if I was a taxi firm, then Uber would have made my life so much more difficult. Now, your business that you've selected may not have massive influences in each of those areas. And we're going to be looking at that later and we're seeing how significant they are. So you might find that you write far more for one topic than you do for the other. Don't worry, that's normal. So when we have done our pest analysis, we're now able to do our SWOT analysis. And you can probably guess SWOT stands for other things as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the business right now and we're going to say, S, yes, what are its strengths? What are the factors? that make our business successful. Yeah, we just say, is it that they have good relationships with their customers? Is it they don't have much competition? Is it that they use technology really well? What is it that makes our business successful? Now, we all have our weaknesses. So what are the things that make your business less successful? It might be that they don't have enough money to expand. It might be that they have loads of competitors and it's really difficult for them. So look at what's happening now, strengths and weaknesses. Then we're going to look at the future. What is going to happen to the business in the future, in your opinion? So opportunities. What could your business do in the future? Now, think about technology is definitely a trend. Could they use technology to improve how they communicate with their customers? If it were a sandwich shop, could we bring out a range of vegan sandwiches? If we're a car business, could we bring out electric cars? lots of opportunities that they could do in the future but also what are the big problems they might be facing in the future i would say we still don't know about brexit brexit uncertainty is going to be a threat to the business isn't it there are lots of different things perhaps a um fall in the economy increased unemployment might be a threat to your business so that is your swot analysis we're saying now what's good and bad about the business future what could they do and might what might be the problems facing them in the future oh now 
we're on to the conclusion. This is the concluding part. It will get you the distinction. You've done most of the hard work. We're just going to draw everything together. So in this conclusion, you need to say, in your opinion, what do you think are the most significant factors that will be affecting the future success of the business? And very importantly, why you think that. So I have here, I'm looking at Topshop. And if I was looking at Topshop and I'm concluding this, I would say I reckon they're the two most significant factors facing Topshop are these. I reckon that less people shop in stores technology. I would say this is the most significant factor as Topshop, even though, yes, they do have a website, they are predominantly a store based um, shop. People, their target market are going online to the likes of Boohoo and buying their clothes. They can provide them cheaper because they don't have to pay for the stores. I would really say that technology is going to affect Topshop. Second one is climate change. I think as we become more and more aware of climate change, we will change our behaviours. Now, clothes, you may not know this, but clothes contribute quite a lot to um, the use of energy, the use of water and things like that. So as a shopper, people might start to choose to buy less clothes. Topshop relies on us buying a lot of clothes. So I would say these are the two most significant factors affecting Topshop. Your business, they're going to be entirely different, but pick two or three that you would consider to be most influential and tell me why. Good luck.